This is Dante with The Verge. We're taking a look at the Sony Xperia TL for AT&T. It's a very similar device to the Xperia T that we saw back at IFA last month. Uh, it is a Android 4.0 handset that um, has a 4.6 inch 720p display. And it's running ICS, unfortunately, with a Sony skin on it. The hardware itself is basically unchanged from what we saw back at IFA on the International Xperia T or the uh, TX. It has a curved back and it's a smooth matte finish. Uh, there's a 13 megapixel camera on the back that AT&T and Sony are talking a lot about. And uh, otherwise it has on-screen buttons that we've seen on uh, more of the new Sony Xperia devices. And AT&T has put its Globe logo right on the front there. When you're using the device, it's kind of in the wrong spot. It feels like uh, we can imagine some consumers would want to click the Globe logo instead of the right button, but that's the decision that they made. Otherwise, performance is pretty good. Uh, as you can see here, it's all very fast with the uh, 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Crate processor dual core, and it has a one gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage. And uh, one other complaint that we have about the device on the side, if you can see here, the power buttons in the middle of the device, and then there's the volume rocker, and then the camera, two-stage camera button. The power button's in a spot where it's a little hard to use, in our opinion, but we sure as people will get used to it. Let's a quick look at the Xperia TL for AT&T.